Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be the finale, if you will, of my pan those eyeshadow series. And I don't even have an update for you on like where we were at by finale. I basically just mean I'm telling you in this video that I'm not going to be doing the uh, pan those eyeshadows project anymore just because personally I feel like for me and where I'm at with my makeup collection and my the way that I consume eyeshadow is I think it would work better for me to do the pan in every palette project. I did this I think last year or two years ago too where I like transitioned halfway through the year and then at the beginning of this year I thought pan those eyeshadows again but I knew so I've been struggling with the Panda's eyeshadows. I like to bring in new eyeshadow palettes, test new eyeshadow palettes. And I knew I wanted to be doing an eyeshadow pan or project of some sort, but with Panda's eyeshadows specifically, it's just not a project that is currently inspiring me to work on the shades specifically that are drawn. So the way that I was doing my Panda's eyeshadows, which by the way, was a project created by Alexi here on YouTube. I'll have her link down below. It's a fantastic project and I love the project, but the way that I was doing mine is I would obviously randomly generate five or six different eyeshadows to work on at any given time throughout the course of the year. And Pan in Every Palette, I'm not sure who created Pan in Every Palette. Um, if I figure it out while editing this video, I'll leave them linked down below as well. So the way that I wanna do the Pan in Every Palette is I'm obviously going to randomly generate, um, I'm gonna do four eyeshadows, I'm gonna do a bit of a twist. I'm gonna do four eyeshadow palettes, randomly generate the palette, but then through like my natural use, just try and hit Pan in a Pan in that palette. I'm also going to randomly generate a face palette to work on within this project. I just thought that would be a fun little twist. And then I will also generate one single eyeshadow throughout my collection to also try and hit pan on. Just as like little ways to like add my little twist and then try and hit pan on more products. That's how I want to run things. If you are curious, I did just recently post, um, I believe it was the second video. It is palette week, by the way. I forgot to say that in the introduction as well. Every single day for seven days, I'll be posting some sort of palette themed content. I believe if I'm on schedule, yesterday's video should have been all of my unused eyeshadow palettes so far in 2022. And there's over 50 palettes in my collection that has gone unused. So clearly something needs to change. If you're interested in seeing my introduction to the Pan and Every Palette project, stay tuned. First, if you have yet to subscribe to my channel and you like project panning content, palette themed content, or just chit chatting about makeup, I would love if you'd consider subscribing before moving on. And other than that, let's jump into the video. So as I briefly touched on, I'm going to randomly generate four eyeshadow palettes. I think I have the majority of my palettes listed out on a spreadsheet um, that don't have pan in it. I am probably missing one here or there. I also have a palette declutter coming. So there were a few palettes I tried to like take off the list if I'm thinking I'm to, going to declutter them. And then after the, the declutter, I'll update my spreadsheet. But I'm going to randomly generate four palettes that to begin. And my goal would just be to hit pan on any eyeshadow within that palette. Um, and maybe I'll like think of a shade that I want to focus on, but through use, it'll end up being another shade I hit pan on. Who knows? And then I'm randomly going to generate an, a face palette to work on as well as um, I'm going to randomly generate one of my Z palettes to work on. And then we'll randomly actually generate the single shadow we're going to work on throughout this project. I hope I'm making sense as we go on. If I'm not making sense, it'll hopefully all come together and make sense. So <laughs> my spreadsheet, according to my spreadsheet, I have 136 <laughs> eyeshadow palettes currently in my collection that don't have a pan in them. So I do eventually want to get like all get my spreadsheet transitioned over to the tiny decisions app just because I feel like that's way more fun. But I am going to randomly generate four numbers between one and 136. So we get number 130. Oh, shoot. Shoot. I forgot to clear my history. I'm going to clear history and we're just going to start over. Okay, clear the history so that we can start over. So we get, so that we can remember all of them. Because I, even though 130 is on my mind now, I feel like I would forget that. So we get number 78. And then we get number 85. Number 58 and number 12. So those are the four eyeshadow palettes. 
Um, should I grab those eyeshadow palettes and then we'll do the face palette? And well, okay, I have one, two, three, four, five, six Z palettes filled with eyeshadows. So I'm gonna take a screenshot of these four numbers and then I'm gonna randomly generate one number between one and six for my single shadows and we get number one. And then how many face palettes do I currently have in my collection? According to my spreadsheet, I have nine face palettes currently in my collection. So I will also randomly generate a number between one and nine. And we get number two. Okay. I'm gonna go grab all the palettes that I just rolled in and I will be right back so we can talk about goals. It's like a good mix, but I'm laughing because the last palette, palette number 12, I'm just gonna show you guys what I pulled for palette number 12 first because it made me chuckle because I was like pulling the palettes that randomly got generated and I was like, oh, actually like I'm super excited about this. This should be like super fun. And then not saying that this won't be fun, but number 12, the last palette that we randomly generated is my Be Perfect Cosmetics Carnival 3. This is a huge palette, which is not my personal preference. Um, you know, when it comes to palettes and palettes only, the smaller the better. Any other realm of life, the bigger the better, you know? <laughs> um, but at least there's a wide variety of shades to choose from, you know? So why don't we just not get right to choosing? Because like I said, I like... We can discuss what I think maybe I'll hit pan on and then maybe it'll be something different. I have not, I've not um, panned a Be Perfect shadow and in fact, I haven't reached for this palette all that much. This is one of the unused palettes in my collection this year, so this is great. If I were to guess, I would think it's gonna be a shimmer shade. I typically am better at panning shimmer shades. I would think maybe vanilla or maybe um, pearl up here but you never know you never know nevertheless I am very excited to have some fun with this palette and reach for it more if you guys have ideas or like shades within this I think it's a 40 pan palette if you have like you know if you have a shade that you're like yeah girl really want to see you pan that you know leave a comment down below hopefully it's not like the bright orange um okay getting back into the other palettes so I randomly generated I can't remember what numbers equate to what now but I have oh this isn't the one I was thinking but okay so I have the Nabla Metro, Metro Metropolitan palette another palette that has gone unused in my collection this year and this is one I was thinking about potentially decluttering but you know what I don't think I'm going to declutter it now I actually do really like Actually, I really do like this palette in general. I feel like I could get use out of all of the shades. I have a feeling these are deeper pans. I don't know. Maybe Alaska for an inner corner highlight, like maybe. I also really like the shade Dissolution, but I feel like that would take like a minute to pan. So we'll see, we'll see. This next one is a fun one. This is another one that has gone unused in my collection this year. And as I was filming that video, I was like, oh dang, I like really loved this palette when I first got it. Now I do feel like this is going to be a difficult one to pan, but it is the Kaleidos Flower Punk palette. It's a really interesting color story, but I actually really did love this when I started testing this or when I test it, tested it for review last year. These three shades specifically I created still to this day, probably like one of my favorite looks of all time. It's very tough to say, but I, if I were to guess, I would think either stained glass or it would be fun, like Sun Gazer, this like gold green, like that would be super fun. I feel like I can have so much fun just in general with like the grungy, like the grungy two thirds of this palette come the fall time, which is literally right around the corner. So even though I think this is gonna be a challenging palette to pan, I'm actually very excited about this because this was a palette that I was like, I really wanna pull this out and get some use out of it. So now it gives me a great opportunity or excuse to really get some great use on that. And then the last eyeshadow palette that was randomly generated, I was actually excited about this because this is a palette I've been trying to pan a shade in for a bit now. It is the Natasha Denona Mini Glam Palette and I have a good head start, if you will, going on this shade 
right here. This is a shade I use quite frequently as an inner, as an inner corner highlight. I have panned quite a few shades in the Natasha Denona minis before, and I will say, the really deep shades. <laughs> like, I always think like I'm really close to pan, and then it's like it'll go on for weeks that I'm using it every single day, and weeks and weeks. So I do still think <sighs> this shade I've had to like press back in with my finger. So I'm a little bit worried about it because it's a little bit crumbly, but I do believe that this will be the shade that I do hit pan on. Hopefully I could hit pan on this. Like if I use this every single day as an inner corner, as an inner corner highlight, I could potentially have pan next update. I do plan to update this project monthly and I don't think I will like do a finale at the end of the year. Like I think I'll just continue through into 2023 and just continue this series on. I thought I saw a spider, but we good. That's like the second day in a row I thought I saw a spider. <clears throat> So those are the four eyeshadow palettes that I'm gonna be focused on. The Z palette that I randomly generated was this ABH Z palette, not specifically like ABH shadows, but the, the actual Z palette is from ABH. So this is like my purple, green, and pink palette. And I actually am going to randomly generate the shade for the single shadow that I will, that I will be working on. I've actually had the most luck with my single shadows this year in terms of panning, which is crazy because usually my single shadow collection gets like completely neglected. So currently I have 18 single shadows in this palette. I'm going to count across like this. And when I get to these two, I'll go across like this, then these two, and then start back. So that's how we're gonna, that's how we're gonna count them. Do I have any, sh yes, I have two pans within this palette already with, two pans already with pan, <laughs> two eyeshadows with pan already. So I have this one right here from Adept Cosmetics that does already have a pan. And then I also have this one, which I depotted out of the, one of the Alamar Cosmetics palettes, which also does have a pan. So that means there's only 16 eligible shades. I am not gonna lie, I really hope I don't get any of these like deeper shades. Fingers crossed, but we'll see. Now that I put that into the universe, it'll probably be one of those shades that actually does get generated. So we need to randomly generate a number between one and 16. And we get number three. Ooh, that's, mm, mm. so one, two, three on camera i don't feel like it looks i feel like it looks lighter than it is there we go it is like more of a mid-toned blue so let me swatch it i mean it is a beautiful shade but just definitely not a shade i can see myself reaching for all that frequently although i feel like i could use this as a liner and it would be really beautiful as a liner so this is the shade summer fling from give me glow cosmetics and i'm trying to think have I panned a shade from Give Me Glow? It's either, I've either panned from Give Me Glow or JD Glow. The pan sizes seem to be about similar. And that one from JD Glow took me forever to pan. As a liner, as a liner though, if I use this as a liner, maybe it'll go quicker. I barely use this, if at all. <laughs> so there's not even really much of a disturbance aside from like a swatch mark. So we've got a long way to go on that single shadow. Of course, I don't have like a <clears throat> makeup wipe in front of me, so I'm just literally gonna <laughs> wipe my finger off on my hand. Um, and then for the face palette, so the face palette is gonna be a bit of a challenge, but I've said that I've really enjoyed working on my face palettes throughout projects this year, and I just thought this would be another fun project to kind of add a face palette to. So the face palette I randomly generated, <laughs> was my Lorac Shine Bright. This has been a frequent flyer throughout my projects, so I was kind of laughing when this randomly got pulled because I just put this palette away. This was going in my whole collection project pan, and I was working on the shade Blossom. So again, I'm not gonna give myself a specific pan that I have to hit pan on. I'm a little nervous about this because it's four blushes and then obviously two highlights, but the highlight formula is not my favorite within this and blushes take forever to pan. But I am really excited about these two shades for the fall time. These are the only two shades I haven't worked on aside from the highlights. These are the only two shades I think that I have not worked on in a project. So we'll see. Do I think I'll hit pan on this? 
by the end of the year? Probably not. So you'll probably just continue to see update after update after update with this, especially because I think I used this shade like 20 or 25 times. And I mean, you can see a disturbance in the pan, but it doesn't even really look like a dip. So we'll see how the face palette panning goes. But after that, that is going to wrap it up for this introduction to my pan and every palette. If you guys have any suggestions or ways that you wanna see me tweak this project, leave me a comment down below. I always love hearing your guys' suggestions and um, I can be super flexible with whatever you wanna see from this project. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for, for watching today's video and for supporting my channel and for supporting Palette Week. I love you guys so much and I will catch you in tomorrow's video. Bye.